hello guys welcome to another video so this today is an update of my um of my desk i wanted to show you guys what i've done with my desk um and i'm going to show you guys later on what i did uh, with my cable management i'm going to show you guys also the ups power supply just in case when you're working and you're not done your work and the power goes out you can you can at least have at least 18 minutes to 20 minutes to finalize everything and shut down including if you're working and all that so without talking too much i'm gonna get up i'm gonna get on and show you guys everything so this is the desk all right so this is what i have on it this is everything here this desk is under a support that i, I showed you guys earlier this keyboard i'm gonna show you guys where i got it from so the, the computer is on this uh, under this support i'm gonna show you guys my mac this is the macbook m1 the new uh, m1 macbook pro it's under this support right here very very minimalistic gives you space to work all the way here got this keyboard from amazon this keyboard is amazing it works perfectly and this is the beautiful macbook pro and i also got the um, how do we call it? i also got the the 16 gig and one terabyte to give me enough space because when you buy a mac um, <clears throat> You're not gonna go ahead and buy another new one every single year. So you, you wanna have uh, enough space. I have my camera here for when I'm on Zoom. Little speaker here for to get a better sound. It's it's okay. And um, my light here. This is the this is this is the most amazing light. It has a uh, you can move it, uh, change the intensity of the light, increase it, and all that. It's amazing. It's a uh, you can move it the way you want so if you're working here this is how it's gonna look like so you, you can do anything you want with this light it's uh, it's movable and and then you when you're done you put it there you can close it and i also have a light under here that i put for my um it's like a recess light that i put there i'm gonna have to turn that thing okay this is what i put to light here and it lights up under under there it makes it like a nice amb ambience light. But you can increase that light as well. As well. Got it from Amazon. And yeah, I'll show you guys this beautiful chair that I got. It's also from Amazon. All right. So when I sit down, this is what I see. This chair has uh, this table here. Got it from IKEA it's large enough to carry all these things and give you enough space to also have your keyboard have your mouse and still have place to work to have your place to do your school if you're on the if you're going to school have your place to work take notes everything you have you have enough enough space to move around and i have a little thing here for school so i can uh, take notes and these boards right here that i got from ikea this boards right here and it, you can put you can push you can put some papers there I, just, I took my papers out just to show you guys but if you have uh, any papers for this thing that i built here um you can put push pins uh, and then put it inside the walls for your papers to save uh, anything that you'd like to keep it there you'll have uh you'll, you'll be able to put it there and uh, got these uh also the, this uh, camera from amazon is amazing speaker i mean uh, amazing uh, microphone from Amazon as well. So it works really well. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna note the description uh, there. And this uh, wireless uh, Bluetooth speaker that I use also for my uh, for my computer. It works well. It's not the, it's not the super best, but it works well. Uh, it's functional. This keyboard as well. It lights up. You can do a bunch of things with this keyboard. And yeah, so let's go down to cable management. So. I wanted to keep this desk clean from um i want to keep the desk clean so the only cable that's coming out of this desk is this one as you can see and then my printer is over there but i got all the cable very minimalistically hidden under this place right here 
so this is why my this is what I did with my cable management. So I have my Netgear internet here, also working, and I got these um, Ethernet slim Ethernet cable here. As you can see, how slim it is. I got it from Amazon. There are six uh, Cat six, and they're amazing how small they are. But uh, so it keeps the cord because every uh, I have my Xbox and my TV and everything running on Ethernet. And, um, and it's pretty long this one is about uh, 15 feet and it's super fast as well um, for a slim cable for a slim uh, ethernet cable it runs super fast and there's no there's no um, down to it downside to it so I have my um, I got how did I mount my ethernet cable I mounted it with if you know what the, I'm not going to and show you guys but I, I'm, I, I use the anchor um, you know, um, a shelf anchor. Yeah, a shelf anchor, a small shelf anchor. And uh, I, pulled, I put one there, made a little bit of a hole. Uh, using a little bit of a hole, I made a hole here and there. And I was able to anchor my switch, uh, Ethernet switch. So this one I have here, it's called a, a USB Type-C uh, docking station. And with this, I was able to dock everything. I have my little hard drive here. And this is connected to the M1, and that one gives me the the ability to be able to have a, a screen. Uh, so, as you can see, I go under here, show you guys more what I did with my. Okay, so what I did with my cable management. Sorry if it's too close. So this is from Nenshin. All right, and this is a hard drive here. And I have a little USB here to add more USB USB port and this one right here is my HDMI it has an also a VGA port and this one here goes inside the the M1 MacBook Pro and everything here so I have also connected to an Ethernet cable right here so every time I'm connected with I'm, I'm connected to uh, my MacBook Pro using this thing right here I'm also using the Ethernet cable so all this uh, all the things I do is super fast and um, and yeah and I have here a charger that comes out of, that comes out over there as you can see it also charges the PS uh, the the I mean sorry it also charges the MacBook Pro and everything so I'm using Ethernet with here I'm using the the HDMI cable and the the output to um, I mean the input from the MacBook Pro so this one it gives me extra USBs it's also connected to here. To, uh, to be able to use more stuff like my uh, microphone, my camera, and my keyboard. All right. So right here, this is the switch. This is what this is what I did with the cable management. I all I use this pins right here. This pin you can find it all um, on Amazon. Amazon is like amazing. You can find anything there. So um, I was able to push uh, put everything um, attached to this. I also got this thing here from Amazon, and this is what I was wanted to show you guys. Um, the way I mounted my um, my network switch gear, uh, my, I mean my uh, my net, uh, my switch. So I got this anchor, um, you know, the shelf anchor, and I used it to put one here, and it came out, so I was able to put a little bit of a hole so I can enter this. This one comes already in the box, so you, we just use the same screw that comes out of the box for the uh, internet, uh, the internet switch. It comes with this, and it comes with all the screws here. The only thing that I bought was this the anchor for um, the shelf anchor, so I can anchor the, the the network under my table. So as you can see, everything here, all this is Ethernet cable, so slim. It makes it makes everything smaller. All this goes into my to my TV, and some of them goes to my TV. Some of them goes to my my Xbox and my uh, my uh, TV box and everything because they all use Ethernet cables. In order to give me uh, to give me Ethernet uh, or internet and yeah, so this is the the box here for the Ethernet switch, as you can see. So what I <clears throat> added an anchor here. I have some of the I, I put a screw in the back of the, the thing here, and I was able to anchor the the power the power bar. So there's still spaces that I can put. I have my um, I have my MacBook Pro, I have the, the, the screen power and some USBs here to charge all the stuff. And this is where 
how it goes. So you don't see any cables apart from the switch. You see everything here is all under and everything is tucked in beautifully. All under the chair, <clears throat> they all come out here. And they go here. As you can see, and everything is minimal because that's how I did it. All right, guys, so now what I'm about to show you guys right now is uh, the Ethernet, I mean, the sorry, the UPS power supply right here. So this right here is connected to the TV, the Xbox, and my computer, and all the rest of the things that I didn't, I didn't think was useful, I connected it on the, on the surge protector. So these right here is the CyberPower 1000 VA. It only has a 600 watts and it was enough for me. When I turn everything on, all the stuff that I think that it's important, the only, out, uh, the only uh, how much I have is what uh, I get 200, almost 300 watts of things that I'm using uh, for uh, things I'm using for power supply. So it's more than enough for me and um, for all the th things that I that is important for me to use. And this is how small it is. It goes on the disc, this this right here. And I have some things that are connected to power supply and things that are connected to the surge. And I'm gonna show you guys what I have, show you guys what it is. Um, as you can see right here, these, all these things right here are all surge protected. And I have my TV right here and, and my uh, computer right here. All the stuff that I couldn't connect to my computer. I mean, stuff that connected to my computer is right here. And all the stuff that is connected to the TV and uh, internet, internet uh, so when the power goes out, I'll have, eth I have internet and I have TV and I have my computer. So I have time to turn off my TV and use my computer only and the, ethernet, and the internet. So the rest is all connected to power uh, search, a uh, search protector. So it gives me time, it gives me at least uh, 20 minutes to get everything ready and be able to uh, shut down TV shut down Xbox and keep the, the computer and um, keep the computer and uh, and the internet running since I'm, I'll be working on the computer so stay tuned for this guys I'm gonna, I'm about to uh, increase the, the time I'm gonna increase the battery size using a, a car battery two car batteries to increase the, the time that the battery the, the run time so keep uh, stay tuned for that. I'm about to do that soon. And yeah. All right. So this guys, this is it. So thank you for watching. I hope this was uh, educational for you. I hope this was uh, will gives you idea for your next desk. And uh, you know, this time of year with COVID, everything being done from home, people working from home. Um, you know, you have to make your desk a little bit fun so you can uh, you can actually work and do the things that you have to do. So I hope this was educational. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys, it gave you guys ideas that you can um, you could do on your next desk and what you wanna do for your next office at home. And yeah, see you guys uh, soon. Stay tuned for, uh, for the power supply update. I'm gonna give you guys, I'm gonna increase the power, uh, I'm gonna increase the, the run time using the two car batteries. Uh, it's, it's coming soon, so stay tuned for that. Thank you guys for watching.